All right, so imagine you having just one single tool that can help you and your team members manage all your code outreach activities. If you're in need of such a tool, then QuickMail is the perfect code outreach tool for you. If you're struggling with your outreach processes, this is one tool you definitely need to fix all your troubles. So in this video, I'll give you a detailed guide on how to use this tool called QuickMail, its features and um, also its capabilities in helping you send over 300,000 code emails per month without any breakdown. So I'm going to be leaving the link directly to the QuickMail page down in the video description for your easy access, okay? And what I want you to do is to just click on the link. It's going to bring you over to this page. Then here on this page, you just want to go ahead and create an account for yourself. And right here where it says you should add the card details to proceed, you don't have to worry about that because you won't be charged not until you wish to upgrade your account, okay? So they are basically just doing this to keep scammers out of the tool to make sure it is safe for you and I. So here you can see that we have a new dashboard on QuickMail and we have just three steps to complete in order to get our first campaign live and running. So the first step here is for us to add the email addresses we would love to use in sending out our code campaigns. So here on QuickMail, you can add up to 50 different email sending account, which is super helpful in making sure that you are not limited to how many emails you can send per day and you would also be having a good inbox rate from every of your campaign and this is one of the many reasons why me myself and so many people out there prefer using quick mail for code mailing so to add your own email sending account all you have to do right now is to click on those button here and you can see we have two drop down menus right here so we would have to go with the first one because i have the necessary information of my email sending account so once you click on that, you can go ahead and add any type of email sending account you want to use, such as your Gmail and G Suite email account you have the outlook and office 365 email account and finally you also have a custom smtp account so these are the free sending account you can have here on quick mail so for the sake of this video all right i'm going to be working with the first option here which is the gmail email account so i basically want to have my sending account directly from my gmail account so i'm going to click on this right here then um i'm going to select this exact email address okay i'm going to grant quick mail the permission to use this gmail account as my original sending account and that's it you can see that we have successfully added up a new gmail sending account and the process is similar to other options too and you can add as many sending account as possible and me myself i recommend it and that is why i showed you guys how to just do it really quick so you can add as many as you want to and like i said i recommend you do that so this particular account here sent up to 1500 emails per day and which to me is fair enough and a good one to make sure that we have a good inbox rate so if you actually want to do things like maybe having 10 sending account which basically sends one five per day right you can do if we do the calculation rightly you realize that we can be sending up to 15,000 emails every single day and if you decide to have more than one sending account you can basically switch your sending account okay anytime you wish to so maybe you don't want to use this first one you might also want to use the second one currently for any of your campaign you can go ahead and do that all right and uh, honestly this is a great feature from quick mail kudos to the team and from time to time i'm also going to be testing out various stuffs here and honestly i will need to spend much time with those two because i can see a lot of potentials in it so once i'm getting to see all those things working fine i come up here on my youtube channel to share with people like you who are also putting in the grind so now let's go back to our dashboard tab all right and you can see that we've successfully done step one and now it's time for us to go over to step two so which is to create a new campaign so go ahead and click on this button right here and now you have to choose if you want this campaign to be visible to every of your team member or you want to be the only one who can see it so so that is what quick mail can do basically you can have many of your team members here on your account and you guys can manage the whole campaign all by yourself so this first option will be for you if you have your team members on board and i'm going to show you how to add your team members in a little bit 
so that they can also flow with you and also you guys can process each and every of your campaigns by yourself so and as for me i've got no one but me on this account so i'll quickly select the only me option then i'm just going to give this a random name basically a demo meeting because this is just me showing you how the two works right okay so um this is very very good now let's let, let's continue so so now you have to pay attention to everything that i will see from now henceforth so now you see that we have quite a number of steps here and this simply means what was the main reason why we want to create a campaign so basically for every of your campaign you should definitely want to do something from it right maybe you want to send an email maybe you want to send sms or maybe you want to do some other thing you need to decide each and every of your campaign is going to be for what so quick mail is a very robust tool designed for high outreach performance team members performance and communication so you should know that every future built on this tool is meant to deliver at high level and increase efficiency in your business so i'm going to select the email icon here because that is what my campaign is going to be all about i want to send emails to a set of people and i believe that is what the majority of us would love to do so quickly i'll go ahead and add my message right here and um um should in case you want to add attributes to your mail such as maybe first name last name of your prospect you can go ahead and do that here on quick mail by clicking on this icon right here so this will basically help you get your emails more personalized so i'm going to do that really quick So once done with that, I'm going to add some days interval space for my next email to comment. So basically, this is actually going to be a workflow, right? Okay. So after they receive my first email, they set up to wait for at least two, three days before it sends up my follow-up email. So I'm going to go with two days as it is best for me, right? Then for the follow-up email, this is what I'm going to quickly do right now. All right, so you can see I already have my follow-up email and you can see everything is looking good. So now you get to see how those steps are being performed and you can see how the flow is going to be like. So all they have to do is the first time I'm going to message these guys and in a few days time, they are also going to be receiving my next email. So the, 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 the more steps you have, the more flows you have, the better for you. So if you feel that this, you would actually have to add up more emails, you can go ahead and do that. You can actually adding your space interval just to make sure everything fits your business properly so now let's go ahead and add a list to this campaign of ours so i'm going to come back here to the campaign dashboard and right here we have two more steps to, to carry on with so let's go with adding our leads first okay so i'm going to click on add leads button right here and now i'm going to select which of the methods i'm going to use in adding up my leads so i can do that either by adding my leads manually or by importing via a cxv file or either by importing directly from my google drive so you can see three options for you if you want to go ahead and add in your list so my favorite option is to import from my cxv so i'll have to go ahead and choose my cxv file and now you can see that the next thing we have to do is to just match the details correctly and make sure that the email column is where it should be the phone contact and all and everything is well pleased so once done click on next and you want to select the campaign you are importing your leads into and then we can go ahead and click on import right away and that's it you can see we have our leads all successfully imported and this is going on so well so far all right so if you're enjoying this video make sure to smash the like button and please if you've got any questions concerning this tool you can ask me down in the comment section below all right so right now you can see that we are ready to start shooting out our emails but quickly let's go ahead and send a text campaign to see how this would look like in the inbox folder of our recipients so once here on the campaign dashboard you want to select this option that says text campaign so now go ahead and click on text icon right here and um select who should receive the text email then once done you want to go ahead and click on send all right and that's it so quickly let me head over to my email account to check that out and yeah guys you can see that we have our text email delivered to us 
oh good so if i go ahead and open this up you can see what the message looks like and you can see that everything is well organized and rightly placed we have the emails already looking good well documented and the follow-up email is also here and it seems everything is perfectly fine and ready to be sent to our lead so please make sure to always test your campaigns to see that everything is fine and well arranged so now we can go ahead and set our campaigns to life just like this and the moment you do this boom you have your campaigns running already and you can see that we have our campaign live so i'm just going to pause this and the reason is because this email list of mine that i uploaded and the email message from chat don't match at all i'm already doing this just to show you guys how easy it is to set up a campaign right here on quick mail so but that is not all to this amazing tool and now some amazing future you should know about quick mail okay number one is the ability for you to also integrate your linkedin account for outreach purposes so many of you might actually need to communicate with your leads via linkedin so you don't need to worry about all of that because you can easily manage all your outreach processes directly from your quick mail dashboard and this is actually going to be an awesome future for those of you who love to connect with linkedin and from the general section right here you can do a lot of things such as changing your workspace name if you need to you can also add your specific time zone to best fit your outreach campaign so secondly on quick mail you can also integrate other software and tools to help you meet your expectations and for instance now i would love to also verify my leads on quick mail all right so this is actually going to be something that i can do directly from quick mail instead of me going out there and using an external lead verification system and this can be possible by integrating an email verification tool so once i click on configure right here and you can see the list of email verification tool that i can integrate with quick mail so i would have to select one of these and i will just go with bouncer as i use them a lot for my email verification processes so here you can see that i would need to provide my bouncer api key so what i'm going to do is i'm going to head over to my bouncer account to get my api key and right here on my account you can see this very section here where we have api i'm just going to click on this and you can see that the api is displayed right here so what i have to do right now is just copy this api key come back to quick mail and add it right here and that's it you can see that we have successfully integrated an email verification tool on my quick mail account which means that i can directly verify my leads before proceeding with any of my campaigns you can see how amazing this feature is you can also add your favorite crm tools and many other tools of your choice so guys you can see how beautiful and how super super easy it is to use the quick mail software so more content about quick mail i'm going to be making sure i release here on my channel because i just have an expert plan with them and this would actually trigger me to wanting to make sure that i use the tool rightly so that you guys can learn from everything and every of my steps that i just get to discover and finally to add other teams to your quick mail account it is very very simple all you have to do is to come down to this very part here where it says team you want to click on add team and now you want to go ahead and click on add members and here you can see that an invitation link has been generated for you so copy this link and send to whosoever you want to have on board and that's it guys you already have this person joining your team on quick mail so you want to make sure you also check out your pricing plans which starts from $49 per month to $129 per month to get the best option for your business please make sure you go for a paid plan because wait for a paid plan will definitely open you to enjoying this tool to the fullest without any restrictions so more videos on quick mail i promise to make more often as this is a good good outreach software that i would love to spend my time with so the more i get to discover about this tool and any future update i receive i would love to share them with you here on my channel so please make sure to subscribe like this video and if you've got any question you can always ask me in the comment section below check out the quick mail link in the video description and also in the pinned comment and i'll see you in my other videos please take care of yourself and bye